Two, three, action. Hello, my name is Janelle Glenn. I'm reporting live right now in Washington, D.C. at the Greyhound. And I'm out here with the boy, you know, my boy Nike. We just came from a, a live business event over the weekend. We've been going in, doing our thing, and we had so much fun. We did a lot of training. We got to meet a lot of um, people, and I had a very good time. And I'm just here to let you guys know, like, click the link below and get started with us today. Find out what we're doing and get started because you will benefit from it. You don't want to miss this opportunity being selfish to yourself by not looking at free information that's free for you to look at. Yeah, all right, click that link below. Click that link below. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm here to tell people, like, you, you can do anything you put your mind to. I still live in the hood, man. I still live in the hood. My mom want a house. And right now, I really can't help but get the house, and I really want to. And that, that's one of my whys and why I'm in the business. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I want to help my mother. My dad said, I want to be able to be at home with my dad so I can help him with my sister. So my sister doesn't have to be in the house all by herself all the time taking care of him, my niece, and her son. She doesn't get to have any kind of fun because she's sacrificing her dreams so that way I can go live my dreams. My mother doesn't have to quit her job. My, sister, my other older sister don't have to quit her job. And my brother doesn't have to go and quit his, and which is a good thing, but at the same time, she deserves to have some kind of money in her hands to go do what she want to do. So that's one of my wives. Another one of my wives is, you know, my brother actually got murdered back in 2006. And from there, my life has never been the same. I always wanted to get my mom out of the neighborhood. Like, they killed him, like, he turned 16 on November 15th in 2006. And... On November 27th of 2006, I mean November 27th of 2006, he got murdered and that hurt me to my soul. And from then, I, I, I always had the mindset, I want to get rich, I want to get my mama out of here, I don't want to be here no more. And it wasn't because I hate the hood or I hated the people, it was just the fact that my brother died, dude. he got yeah. murdered. His yeah. life, he didn't get to live his life. Right. So I always told myself that I'm going to live my life and I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. For all the years that I sat in psych wars and I missed my child, you know, a lot of my childhood age, you know, to go through, you know, to have the life that I wanted as a child with my brothers and sisters. For all the years that I missed and all the years that he won't live, I'm going to go. That's what's up. Oh, girl, uh, what's her name? Um... Her name, what's, you know what I'm talking about? The one that got, that, that, that was in the hood for 35 years. She stayed in that one apartment building. And then she got out the hood through Empower. I think it's Lisa. Lisa did that Did that touch you? Because it touched me. I ain't even had that story. But it touched me like, damn. You was there 35 years of your life in a, in a government housing. And you find out how to make money online through Empower. And you get your ass out the hood and move and buy a brand new house in Atlanta. That shit was hot, man. Yes, that I actually was, was touched by that because when I came, like I told you, like I was actually mad on my lunch break because you know I went like as when I was on it when I was at the event, right? Well, at the event, I got my work schedule. Usually, I get 20 hours because I am on disability, so I cannot work more than 20 hours in a week. So I wound up, you know, getting scheduled through the whole summer for 20 hours in a week, and I got my schedule. While I was in D.C. for what I'm supposed to work this week, you know, because today is Sunday, and I got 10 hours, and I'm like, wait a minute. 20 hours a week only gives me like 290-something dollars. You know, 260-something hours every, every two weeks. 10 hours, I ain't going to do nothing for me, and I got to run my business. So I had an attitude. Started, I ain't even going to lie. I started cursing. Like, what am I going to do? I just came to D.C. They cut my hours, and I was at 15, and I'm at 10. What's going on? And it wasn't until I got on the stage and seen that she came from where I come from. Like, I come from Far Rockaway, but my sponsor, who sponsored me in the business, lives right there in the neighborhood that she was in. Yeah. That she said she lived 35 years in. Right. Right from that same neighborhood. Like, I walked them streets. Them streets with my sponsor when I go to see my nephew and my brother and my sister. I walk them streets. Five trains. You feel me? Dyer Ave. We walk up to Co-op City and we walked right in the same neighborhood that Lisa who spoke there. We walked right there to go see my sister-in-law father. Right there. Every time I go to the Bronx. So when I seen her, I was like, yo, she come from where I come from. There's no disrespect to Tracy Walker. 
But I didn't see, you know, I don't, I don't know how Chicago is. I don't know how Atlanta is, because I ain't grow up there, but I know how the Bronx is. I know how Brooklyn is. I know how Queens is. I know how Manhattan is. I know how Staten Island is. And it's rough out there, and I'm not taking away from other hoods like it ain't rough out there and all of that. But to see somebody that's from my neighborhood make it, it was just like, wow. Wow, like, I'm like, wow, she could do it. And she went through a lot of the similar stuff that I yeah, went through. She yeah. got laid off and all of that. I'm like, wow. And I'm like, that they cut my hours. This girl was going through it. She ain't, she lost her job. When I'm sitting here crying and cursing and, you know, and I'm just being real, like, saying that I'm cursing because I'm, I'm here to let you guys know that we get frustrated, too, as entrepreneurs. Don't think that everything is sweet. Everything is golden. We we carry we want to carry ourselves as leaders, and we look to do that, and we do put our anger to the side sometimes. But we some, human. We human. We still human, and sometimes you know things do. You know when you got a dream, and you taking your money from your job, and you investing it, and then the income that you do get, you know when you started the business. You like, yes, I'm doing it. And I'm starting to succeed. So when I got my hours cut, I'm like, dang, am I gonna go to failure now? Because I don't have the income to really put put in the business to produce. I wanna upgrade to this um to this um product called Costa Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. I wanna upgrade to that. And since August, I've been struggling to upgrade because I don't make that much money. Yeah. On my job every two weeks, and the residuals that I'm making that I'm throwing on top of the income that I'm getting from the job is still not enough to do that and help my mom get give you know because transportation is hundred and twenty dollars a month for me, so that's out of three hundred dollars. Thank God for the hundred dollar residual I got coming in every month. Hell yeah. hundred and twenty out of that three hundred, then I gotta eat lunch. You know what I'm saying? Then I got to pay my monthly expenses for my bills, which is $125 a month for the inner circle and the blogging platform. Because every business has an overhead. It ain't no getting around it. I mean, we don't have an overhead like as in a corporation, corporate business or a franchise. But we do have an overhead where we have to pay certain business expenses to keep our business running. Like any other business would have to pay. When I when I seen them, I lost my hours. I was heated. I was heated because that now I'm back to square one. Like, what am I gonna do? And that's how I was when I was on welfare. That's how I was before I won my SSI case and got my part-time job to where I was able to take off with my business. And then I found myself back in that same type of, you know, energy, tension, you know, anger. Like, what am I gonna do? But I'm here to tell you that this 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 is temporary. This experience I'm going through is temporary, and although I was frustrated and I was cursing, just being able to talk to Lisa, watch her on the stage, present her um her, her story and what she went through, and then Tracy Walker got up on the stage and talked about how she went through full full on um, foreclosure twice. Yes, her real estate business fell apart. MLSP, she had a team, but they wasn't eating, and she was having all the success. And that's why she left that to get in the power network so that she can have a whole downline of people. Let me tell you something. This is the first business, the first business that I've ever had success in. I might not have ten thousand dollars coming in monthly. The fact that I was able to get on stage and from July all the way up until this point, I have made three hundred and seventy-one dollars and ninety-eight cents in my business. Residuals. Residuals. So, and that's following Tracy's. You know, trainings that she gives. She takes her time out to do 15K challenge trainings with us. You know, inner circle trainings with us. You know, and I'm edifying her because she, what she shared with her, in her story, that she, what she went through, because she didn't have to get personal with us. And then the training, plus what Dave Wood and Dave Sharp also put out in the training that we must do, which is part of our eight core commitments. In order to succeed in this business, it has changed my life as a person. Like, I, I used to get fired from every job I had. Some jobs I had for two weeks, some jobs I had for four months. Do you know I've been working this whole year? This whole year. Because I'm telling you, it's important to chase your passion. Chase your passion. Before I was trying to be everybody else. I was comparing my success based off what other people had. And if I didn't have what they had, I was a hater. I ain't gonna lie, I used to be a hater. I used to be a watcher and a hater. But you're growing. 
I got my own shows now. My poetry, you know, stuff is going good where I'm actually getting paid book shows now. I just came back from Connecticut right before I actually came to D.C. And I was with Tracy Walker in Denver. Not too long ago, July 19th, all the way to the 21st. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm living. I feel good. I'm to plan my Miami trip, learn more information. And these next 90 days, I'm going to, my, my mentor, Tracy Walker, told me to read, listen to audio, and put as much content as possible out that could be inspiring to other people. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my next 90 days. And she also told me, you know, take a little time more for the internet and go out there and have a life too. Because you want to show people that you don't have to be a slave to the business. You're here to put out the content, market the content, get people in and have a regular life. So for the next 90 days, I'm going in. Click the link below and get started today. Empower Network is a powerful business and it can change your life. Later. Later. Yeah.